Another important aspect of the elliptical is the way that the resistance system works on the elliptical. When you're going around in an ellipse motion, it's not just good to have it at one level of resistance, but rather to change the levels of resistance or to let a motivational workout change it for you. Some resistance systems employ a metal flywheel with an arm with a bank of magnets on the arm with a servo motor down here. As you press resistance up, that armature with magnets comes closer to the metal flywheel and that's what creates your resistance. Some of the ellipticals that we have in here actually have two fixed magnets on either side of the flywheel and they shoot through an electromagnetic signal so that there is no moving bank of magnets. That provides to be a little bit more reliable because there's no moving parts. And still there's another type of resistance that's out there uh, on lesser machines where you're actually using a flywheel with just a, a band of uh, polyester or cotton that rides on top of the flywheel and you're turning a tensioner down. Obviously you can see that that's probably not the best one to suit your needs.